Hello everybody and welcome back to Mask Reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Dark Knight Batman Cowl from Ruby's. So let's do this. Right, so here it is. I finally got it, like I said I was going to. And the oddest thing about this mask is that even though this really looks like the Dark Knight, it looks nothing like the Dark Knight. I know, that sounds weird. But the details on here, it, it's quite interesting how they did it because when I put it on, it looks like the actual Dark Knight mask, however, it looks nothing like it. Because it, it seems like it's a more exaggerated, detailed version of the Dark Knight mask. It's a bit more like the Batman Begins mask, to be quite honest, and I think that's when this one came out in particular. But, it is a really good looking mask. Uh, the only complaints I have are just like the ears, they're a bit odd in size and shape but they end up looking actually pretty nice when you put it on but yes yeah, so you can see all the details here this nice little kind of scowl thing going on you got the nose got the eyes they're very rounded eyes like the movies the ears I like how the ears kind of flow into the back here and it also has this nice tight velcro I noticed that this velcro is one of the most sturdiest velcros from all the Batman cowls from Ruby's you can see I have it stuffed with newspaper. I did have to unwarp this mask because it came in the mail, uh, of course, crushed. I got this one from eBay in particular. And I noticed that most of these Ruby's ones come in crushed, but I noticed that this particular type of rubber, this one was also used in the 1992 Ruby's Batman cowl, which was this kind of thick black rubber smells quite interesting doesn't smell as bad as normal latex so I wonder if there is a bit more than just latex in this one and also I was able to unwarp this very easily this type of rubber is easy to unwarp I used a foam head I used a couple of newspapers to uh, kind of reshape the protrusions and stuff like that and you just take a heat gun or a hair dryer and just go over it let it heat up then let it cool down and eventually it'll take the shape and ends up looking way better than it used to. It was instead of just being crushed like it was in the mail. But anyway, I guess I should go ahead and put this on. And my head definitely can fit in this. I've already tried this on before. And it's one of the few Ruby Batman masks. We'll actually know it. It's kind of more of the majority. But anyway, back to what I was saying. This mask actually fits me pretty nicely. Uh, the only one that didn't fit me from Ruby's was the 1992 Batman Returns cowl, which was incredibly huge. And I had to do some modifications. If you want to check out that video, you can. But yes, this one I didn't really have to do any modifications at all. And if you want a really tight fit, if you have a head like mine that's already small, it can fit very well, nice and snug, comfortably. But if you want a really tight fit, just to have a more accurate look, uh, wear one beanie inside of this and that ought to help it be stuck to your face. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be wearing one beanie when I put this on, so let's go ahead and put this on. And I just wanna give you a quick look at the mask, what it looks like without any of the newspaper. It actually looks way better. Looks like it's supposed to look like. But as you can tell, it's a very nice Batman cowl. Looks very good. It looks like the Dark Knight, but it doesn't. It's so weird. It's like so accurate, but yet it's not accurate at all. It's very weird. Anyway, I'm going to be putting on the spinny, and then I'll put on the mask. Alright, Velcro's off. Let's go. And you have to push the beanie up a little bit. Okay, okay, so this is the Dark Knight Batman cowl from Ruby's. As you can tell, this is a great looking Dark Knight mask, great for cosplay, it's a good cheap one, and it looks like the Dark Knight, but it doesn't. I've already said that before, I know, but I'm serious, it like looks like an exact replica, but it doesn't at the same time, and it's really kind of weird how, it, how it's like that. And some black eye makeup would really, really make this mask look really good. So yes, it's overall a good looking mask. I really enjoy it. I look like my actual voice is a Christian Bale voice, because, you know, when I do this, 
it'll sound a bit more like this. Just uh, bear with me. This is gonna be some cheesy nerd stuff, All right? <sighs> Swear to me. Yeah, you can see how that fits with the mask. And it's just the bale mask just kind of screams that that kind of dark, very scary Batman voice. Where were the other rocks going? Do I look like a cop? Yeah, this one reminds me more like the uh, Batman Begins one, but I'll do a full turnaround real quick for you. But yeah, this is a really cool mask. Love the way it looks. Great for any Dark Knight cosplay that you're doing. Nice and firm. Very well done. All that fun stuff really cool and I'm definitely gonna be using this in a bunch of uh, skits sketches and hopefully short films it's definitely one of those where I can do a Dark Knight parody here and there <sighs> it's not who I am underneath but what I do that defines me yeah <laughs> You either die a hero, or live long enough to see yourself become a villain. I am Batman. But yes, very good movability. I can turn my head, unlike the other cowboys from Ruby's, which they're based off of movies that actually, and games that I actually have none. Turnable head cowls, so it makes sense. And this one is supposed to be a turnable one. So yeah, it's very turnable, very nice, very well detailed. I love this mask. Now I might have to plasti dip this one later, just because it can keep the mask's rubber stable, keep it a bit more sturdy. But I think it's already thick enough. I might go over it though, just to be certain. But yes, this is a really awesome Batman mask. Love this cowl. Love the way it looks. Does a really good job of completing the effect of the Dark Knight mask. And if you have a Grand Heritage costume and your mask is too big or too rubbery or just too weird, get this one to replace it with. I noticed with a lot of the Ruby's costumes, including Grand Heritage and even not Grand Heritage, this is the original ones, the masks are crappy, so you better get this one. This is the one to go with. If you want a cheap Dark Knight Batman cowl that will do the job very quickly, then get this one. However, if you can find a more accurate one, then do let me know in the comments. Alright, so yeah, that was the Ruby's Dark Knight Batman cowl. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and enjoyed it, and you will see me in the next video. Goodbye.